Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So, originally I thought, yeah, I'm just gonna skip today and not make a video, but there's a couple of things um, that I thought you guys might be interested in knowing about that happened today. Um, nothing major, just some uh, kind of funny things. And, yeah, just different things that we deal with here. Um, in Davao and things that affect us as missionaries and um, as expats, meaning this is not our home country, um, we are not citizens of this country, and different things like that. And so, today was the last day of break. Um, tomorrow we go back to school and um, yeah, it's a teacher day for us at Faith, and then it's Thomas's first day back um, at pre preschool. So I think he'll be excited um, to be back and have that normal schedule. And um, yeah, I think I think it'll be good for us as a family to be on a normal schedule. Don't get me wrong, break has been great, but you know, there's just sometimes you're just ready for a change and sometimes even being back in school is somewhat a break because I don't know any family that is um, used to being with each other all the time and it going well all the time and so um, we've had some challenges today with we, we have babysitters that come in because we do not have family here other than the family, like, it's just Dan, and me, and Thomas, and, um, so we have babysitters that come in and help, and it's, it's been interesting, this conversation of, we're not rich, like, we're not dripping with money, is, it, it's been an interesting conversation, because to the average Filipino, yeah, we do seem rich, yeah, we do, um, Sorry, my nose itches. Make more, more money than them, but I, it's it's just been an interesting conversation of, you know, okay, make sure that you don't, you know, change the baby's diaper every single second. Like, if it's just a little wet, it, you know, it's okay. Or um, making sure that we're conserving how many wipes we're using, or. Um, just how much food is consumed and sometimes it's okay to say no to you know if Thomas wants a snack or whatever and so it's, it's just been interesting because I'm trying to bulk shop so that I'm not in the store as much and so I'm not tempted to go out and buy all those things but then I think they look and see the food and they're like oh we can just use this up and that's not the case and so I don't know if it's a language barrier or or just the difficulties of it um, it's not always understood and so that's been an interesting conversation and something that we are working through another thing that we're trying to figure out is we took the twins today to um, we're taking them to, the, them to the doctor and they were supposed to get their MMR shots we'll come to find out here you have to set up like an appointment with the doctor to make sure that they have that shot ready um, and our doctor didn't have that shot in and also to come in to find out it's $50 a shot and since we have twins that's $100 because two shots um, and so we weren't prepared for that either so it's like okay, okay another another thing we'll have to budget for and possibly do next month instead of this month and it's just you know different things like correct me if I'm wrong but I in Indiana at least there's like free health clinics you know there's places that are free where you can just go and get those shots that you need to get and it's all taken care of um, I don't know I guess I just normally haven't thought of the cost of shots and yeah, that's just, it's crazy. And so, and we're trying to figure out, like, what we're going to do for Thomas's birthday, because his birthday is 
this coming Monday on January 13th. I'll be four and so um, try to plan a trip to the beach for that and just try to enjoy our last day of break but also get some things done um, because we will hit the ground running and there will not be a break until spring break and I think spring breaks in March sometime and so life is just about to get busy and crazy and then um, just misunderstandings and confusion you know like with the people here the language they speak is different than what we speak um, even though a lot of them know English there's still just confusion and different things that happens and then um, I've been getting emails from YouTube saying, you know, things are changing with YouTube and um, be very careful if your kids are in the videos, like, then you have to specify this content is for kids or this content is not for kids. And so, um, yeah, I think I might just every once in a while have a couple of pictures of Thomas or whatever at the end of videos, but um, for the most part, I'll try to leave Excuse me. I'm completely out of it. Um, I'm not too worried about it. It's not like very many people watch my channel. Um, I'm not making money from it. And so I don't think I'll be in danger of too much. And all the content is family friendly. There's not much um, that we've talked about that um, would not be family friendly. But yeah, there's just... Um, I took a nap today because, you know, sometimes you just get to the point where you're like, oh, I need a nap. And then we ended the day with there not being any water. And so that affected Thomas taking a bath. And then I went to the sink and there was water. So it's just unknowns and, you know, not, not knowing when we'll have water, not knowing, yeah, just... Do we have water? Do we not have water? Do we have electricity? Do we not have electricity? Um, you know, do we know this? Do we not know that? Um, yeah. But I know that we can trust the Lord and that He will get us through each day. And He'll either give me enough energy to get through each day or make me a coffee drinker or something. So, yeah. That's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. I pray that your day is full of many blessings and um, that the Lord provides clarity and just continues to guide and direct you. God bless. Bye.